Hey, I'm going myth busting today, so stick with me on Flywire. I'm Scott for doing today on Flywire. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do is bust a little myth. We're gonna play with it and see what happens. So here's the backstory to it is, uh, you know, I'm a Bonanza guy, kind of like Bonanza's. I went to the ABS convention in September and I gave a talk there and, you know, I watched, I went and watched other people give their talks too. And on one particular presenter that uh, said a couple of things that were pretty, um, I think they were wrong. I didn't. Uh, I didn't raise the issue in the uh, in the talk. I uh, didn't want to embarrass him at all. But so one of those things is um, uh, you've seen my videos about spins. You need stall and then yaw to spin. Well, you need you need to fix the yaw somehow. Okay. In this particular airplane, the wedges out on the wing make a huge difference, and uh, that actually fixes the stall, the yaw, and you don't need. Uh, the rudder to do that, so uh, you, you know you just let go, basically, and the airplane will fix itself. It's really amazing, but it's not normal. I mean, it's not other airplanes. It's just the, this particular design with the wedge on the leading edge of the wing. This is an aerobatic bonanza, and you know I don't need to go upside. I don't need a parachute to go upside down unless I have a passenger. So quit yelling at me about that. <laughs> so uh, anyway, that's one thing. Um, you can't extrapolate the performance of one airplane and say it's a blanket for all airplanes. Uh, in general, you can say that the rudder is the main uh, flight control to stop the yaw in a rotation and a spin. So that's one thing. The other thing that really uh, got me was uh, the advice was that if you were in a wake vortex upset and you were upside down like this, then the best advice is to just go with it. Okay, just just roll, keep rolling, and go with it. Yeah, no, I don't agree with that at all. And uh, so we're warming up the oil, so I got plenty of time to talk here. It's a little chilly today. So um, what's happening is is that it doesn't matter what airplane you're flying. Uh, we're airplanes, even with symmetrical airfoils uh, like the extra 300 uh, L that I used to have. Um, you know, it's built to fly like this. So the nose is going to drop at some point. You know, the extra 300L that I had, I think it was something there like 400 degrees per second roll rate. The F-15 E that I flew had like 500 degrees of roll rate. The T-38 is like, I think it's 720. It's just outrageous. And as a matter of fact, there's a limitation in the uh, in the Dash 1, the Pilot Operating Handbook, that says uh, no full, at full stick, full throw, uh, rolls because you're going to get some coupling and uh, the airplane will come apart get into a violent PIO and come apart so it's rolled so fast you can't use the full roll um, about half of it is pretty eye watering anyway so the, my point is is that it doesn't matter whether you're flying a Stearman or an F-15 or a T-38 you know your nose is going to drop uh, in a in a transport category airplane in a twin whatever it's going to drop quite a bit in a Stearman it drops more than 30 degrees, probably about 30 to 45 degrees. Um, and F-15 is about 5 degrees. This airplane, it's probably about 15 to 20. So you think about that. If you're here and you're just going to go with it, okay, your nose is already about 10 or 15 degrees below the horizon and you keep rolling out, now it's 45, 50, 60 degrees below the horizon. And what you've done is, is you've committed yourself to a very, very wide accelerating uh, pull to recover back to altitude, about at least a level. So where's the ground? Okay, you don't know. You've, I mean, by definition here, you've lost all situational awareness. So the idea of roll with it, it just doesn't wash with me. So uh, th that's what I'm telling you right now. We're going to go out and test fly it. So, all right, we got oil for oil temperature. Mixture of prop, prop to go, flap set, cuff up set, trim set. Here we go. So 140 is pretty good speed for an aileron roll, and uh, more or less something like cruise, so let's set that, all right? So here we are, we're at, uh, let's do it, started at 6, there's no traffic, so we're just maneuvering here, all right, so I'm going to go upside down, and I'm going to get into a, a, you know, basically a 45 slice back attitude, and then we're just going to go through the roll, all right? Let's see how much we lose like holy rip that was that recovery there so let's continue the roll through 
has 45 degrees of nose low. There's 3G pull back to altitude. We hear you, can you hear us? Perfectly 1,200 feet from the upset. Okay, so what I'm pitching to you, the proper way to handle an upset from inverted is to unload. Not to keep the roll on, to keep the uh, the G on, because that's actually, you got Grotz G, one G from the earth, plus whatever you're pulling is going to continue to uh, pull that nose lower all the way around. So let's get back up to the buddy around me. All right, here we are. Roll. All right, we're upset, inverted, push, light the seat, roll. And then add G. All right, that was about a 500 foot altitude loss instead of 12, 1300 feet. Considerably different. If you were in the pattern or something like that, you're low to the ground. You would have gotten really low to the ground the first way. Well, that's the quick and dirty of uh, the myth, so you be the judge. My thinking is the myth busted to roll all the way through. Uh, if you're on a bigger, faster airplane, a heavier airplane, that nose is going to drop even more than it did on this airplane. You saw it at an eight on roll. I did 35 degree drop. It's pretty amazing. And uh, if you're low to the ground, you're going to get lower to the ground. Are you going to be able to recover doing, you know, three to four Gs like I did during the during the, the test there? No. I've, you're not going to do that. You're going to do two, two and a half. You're gonna, your arc is going to be right through the ground. So don't roll with it. If you don't understand what I'm saying about the uh, unload, push, and roll, then uh, what you need to do is go do UPRT. And as a matter of fact, I think uh, doing an upset prevention recovery training is a great idea, and you ought to do that. Uh, learn what it looks like to fall off the edge of the world so you can avoid the edge of the world. That's the whole purpose of that. So, I hope you liked the video. It's good to get back flying again. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Flywire.